Howdy, soapy folks. Kevin here with Divinely Designed, and uh, we have a soap video today. If you watched my last video, the one bef just before this one, uh, you saw me make an all-natural soap, um, and again, all-natural for me, I know there's no real definition, but all-natural for me means that I'm not using any fragrance oils, I'm only using essential oils for fragrance, and I'm using no artificial colorants. My colors are coming from plant extracts. Uh, so that was my last video, and that one ended up being pretty, and it's a sort of yellowish soap with some blues in it. Um, and I had posted on my YouTube site about, you know, I need a name for this, and someone suggested Awaken, which I really like because it had a very fresh fragrance to it. But then I looked at the soap and the and the sort of pale yellow and the blue leaving it made me kind of lean toward Daybreak, like, you know. Um, so, I thought I might do a companion soap to that one, and this one I'm going to call Nightfall. Okay, so let's go over the recipe. So I have my normal, um, my normal oil recipe, which I use most often. So we have 454 grams of olive oil pomace, 283 grams of 76 degree coconut oil, 227 grams of cocoa butter, 227 grams of shea butter, and 170 grams of castor oil. I have uh, in my lye and water, I have 517 grams of water and 185 grams of sodium hydroxide. Um, for the additives for this soap, what I'm going to be using is um, some heavy cream, just a little splash of heavy cream. And um, my, the other things I'm going to add are some uh, myrrh powder, some flaxseed powder, and some dead sea mud. And I probably have about a teaspoon, maybe like a heaping teaspoon of each of those. And the myrrh powder, you know, like frankincense and myrrh. The myrrh was sort of my part of the inspiration here because the Egyptians used it to um, perform some of their rituals and uh, prepare mummies and things like that. So if I was calling this soap nightfall, it was sort of about sleeping. And I thought the myrrh powder sort of fit very well with that. And I think I've read somewhere that flaxseed can help with sleep and the Dead Sea mud just sort of, <laughs> I don't know that that helps at all, but it sort of has label appeal, I guess. It's sort of in the theme of the soap. Um, but they should all add a nice um, uh, element to the soap. Uh, the flaxseed is a t it's not it's not a real fine powder. It's hard to see probably in there. Um, it's it's almost like almond meal. That's what it feels like. So um, it has a bit of a sort of an edge to it, but it's still you know it's not like. It's not pumice or it's not walnut shells or anything like that. It's not real rough. It'll probably be a very tiny amount of exfoliation. But the other ones, the Dead Sea Mud is like a clay and so that should help cleanse. Um, and I'm hoping the myrrh powder and the Dead Sea Mud will add a, build a bit of silkiness to it. For fragrance, I have a rather f complicated mix of fragrance oils here. Um, so, um, let me go over them. From, from most to least, I have in here blood orange, tea tree, lavender, star anise, cinnamon, dark patchouli, and litsy. And I chose the, the blood orange specifically because I kind of know it, it fades and you lose a, a lot of that. So that's why I have the most of it because I'm sort of counting on some of it fading away and being lost in the soap. The, and the rest of it is a much more sort of deep um, and earthy kind of smell to it. So right now it has a strong sort of top citrus note. 
uh, which I know is going to fade some, and that's actually why I put the Lit C in there also is to sort of bolster that, because sometimes the blood orange can really fade away. Um, but then I'm, I'm hopefully going to be left with kind of a middle, um, you know, with the, um, the star anise, the cinnamon, the dark patchouli, um, they're going to have that kind of dark base in there, and then I'm going to get little sort of middle notes with a floral from the lavender and a little brightness from the citrus. So I'm hoping that works out well. Okay, colors, what we're using. Um, I'm going to keep the, the, I'm going to do a drop swirl because it's sort of the companion to the daybreak soap. Um, so I'm going to keep it sort of a pale blue. So I'm going to be using Woad for that, and that's already mixed in some oil. And then for the swirls, I'm going to do um, some indigo, which will be a dark blue. I want to have some contrast in there, so I'm going to brighten it up. This is turmeric that's been mixed with some annatto seed powder. So it's an orangey yellow. And then I think the other color I'm, go color I'm going to use is just the natural color of the soap. Um, so the dark, so the majority will be the woad, which is kind of a middle blue, and then I'll have some drop swirls with dark blue, natural, and um, the turmeric. So, okay. All right, that was a lot. Sorry, that was a long, like, getting prepped for this. So, here we go. Um, I think I'm going to put my, my additives right in right now. Get those out of the way so I don't forget them. All right, and then here goes my lye water. I did just check my temperatures not too long ago. Um, my oils are right around 90, and my lye water is right around 70. Okay, so let's get this mixed up. You can see those little flecks in there, and that is from the flaxseed powder. Like I said, it's a little bit more um, of a, a medium sort of grain rather than the, the Dead Sea Mud and the myrrh powder, which were, are very fine. I think we're good. We're going to add my essential oils. Get those all mixed in there. And I did want to include some citrus notes because, again, if I'm making this sort of as a companion to the other soap, which is Daybreak, that one has really strong citrusy notes. Um, so this one is a more mild citrus. I hope the citrus ends up much more as a, a sort of middle note to it. Okay. Okay. That is looking fine. All right, so let's pour off some. Let me get rid of this here. Let's pour off some for sort of the natural color. The indigo. We'll give a little bit more indigo, I think. and a little bit of my turmeric and a natto seed. All right. Now, and the reason I'm not making an indigo the main color is because I'm afraid that I won't have enough contrast with an all dark soap. So I want the middle blue to sort of be my, the most prominent. Um, 
and then hopefully I'll get a nice contrast with some of the darker blue and um, the natural colors. Okay, so the woad, I'm going to add, let's see, I'm going to add, oh, Oh, this is, uh, okay. I think I'm just going to start with that and see where that takes me. that since that didn't turn blue at all. Let's see how these other colors do here. Okay. Actually, you know what? I think I mixed these up. This is the woad. Oh, well. Okay. Yes, this is the woad. And grab the wrong container there. So, okay. So I'm gonna add the rest of this. Yes, this is the woad. Well, um, it turns out that indigo didn't mix into the oil very well. So. I may have to try and mix that with some water quickly. Okay. Let me get this mixed up here. going to be natural. And then let's see for the turmeric and a natto seed. Oh good. Okay. Okay. All right, so that's a pretty good color. Um, I'm going to quickly mix up some indigo crystals uh, in some warm, warm water because I know that works well. And I was trying to mix it in oils for the first time and that didn't work so well. So I'm going to pause this just so you don't have to wait um, for me to do that. It's probably going to take me two or three minutes, okay? So just hang in there. We're back. Um, I just quickly mixed up some indigo in some warm water. Um, I don't know if you can kind of see. It looks kind of gross and uh, it actually doesn't smell very good either. I am going to use just a little bit because this goes a long way and um, don't get this on anything because it stains horribly. <laughs> Okay, you see how it, it sort of turned that, kind of that green, almost an aqua color? That, that'll that shift a little bit here, I think. That's what happened the last time I used this. I am gonna put in just a little bit more, I think. I do want this fairly dark. just a little bit more actually. Again, we have that middle blue which is the biggest portion, so it should be okay to have this be fairly dark. And I could have used black actually and I thought about it. Um, 
like I could have used activated charcoal, uh, but I, I, I also wanted to try these this natural colors out a little bit more too. Okay, that's good. Now right now, it looks green, but it ends up being a very lovely dark, deep midnight blue. So, okay. All right, let's get drop swirling. All right. So here's my mold. This is my tall and skinny mold that I made myself. Uh, I'm gonna take my, my medium blue and we're gonna start off with about half of that. And then I have quite a lot of this dark blue. So I'm going to be generous on my pour here. Okay, then we're going to add a little splash of natural, just for contrast. Okay, and a little splash of my yellow-orange. Okay, I'm going to go back to my dark blue. And the reason for kind of alternating is that the soap that you drop in there, um, when if you switch to a different color, you're sort of pushing it down, right? And so you want this to penetrate kind of deeply uh, so that the soap that you do pour takes other soap with it and creates um, the drop swirl, the, the actual you know, design that you're looking for. So if you need to, you can start pouring from, you know, much higher so it sort of penetrates deeper into the soap. Okay. All right. I might try to use this as sort of the top <clears throat> and then try to do some lines I'm not explaining this very well um, so I'm gonna pour this as a layer on top here of my soap it's still pretty thin And then I just want to get kind of a nice dark layer. And normally you have kind of a light layer that you do swirls and we're gonna try it sort of in reverse. Okay. Give that a tap just to even things out a little bit. Okay, looks good. All right, let's start with my natural. And all I'm gonna do is try and pour this in some, some kind of lines on top here. Okay, and the same with, ooh, I actually have a lot of blue, well, oh well, let's see. Okay, we'll see what we can do. So it's starting to thicken up a little bit, so this is a little harder. Okay. 
And then I think I'm going to end with a little bit more blue here. Uh, I might end with the natural, actually. That's what I'm going to do. Since I can sort of see the yellow and the blue in there. Okay, I think that's good. I'm going to tap to try and even those out just a little bit. Okay, that looks good. All right, and then I'm going to take my chopstick here and I'm going to do a swirl kind of back and forth. Well, not bad, but I think I think I need a little contrast. So Okay. So let's see what I can do here. Since these colors are a little bit muddled anyway, we're going to try it again. Okay, that's a little bit better. I think we just needed some contrast in there to help with... Um, just being able to see it, I think. Okay. All right, so that is the making of Nightfall. Uh, this is gonna go in the fridge, rest overnight, and then in the morning, I will probably, I'll take it out, and I'm gonna let it sit uh, on the counter uh, until, you know, tomorrow evening, and then, um, and then we'll cut it. Okay, great. So stick around for the cutting of Nightfall. Hey everyone, this is Kevin with uh, Divinely Designed and we are here unmolding and cutting. Uh, this is my second, sort of in a series, all natural soaps. Right, all natural just meaning no artificial fragrances and no um, no artificial colors. The colors are all from plant-based items. And the fragrance is from essential oils. And this is not cooperating. There we go. Okay. Let me just remove that. So if you can see, um, I had some a little odd happening here on the top of this soap. Let me make it a little closer. I have a little ash that formed just sort of in the middle. Not a lot, but I should be able to get that off with a little, oh, either water and a paper towel, or I could use steam, or sometimes I use a little alcohol sprayed on um, a paper towel and wipe it down. But... Okay, so just lining this up. So it's been in the fridge overnight, and then I took it out this morning. It is about 23 hours total. It's cutting pretty nicely. Uh, 
Okay. So, that's pretty interesting. So that's the... The darker one is the indigo, which right now, since I cut it, has sort of that greenish tint to it, but I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera. Like, this very bottom is very blue. Um, like, that's a true indigo. So, this color that it is right now will probably change to that more deep, rich blue color. Um. And, and on the top is a good example. That's the indigo after it's um, set for a little while and it's got that beautiful midnight blue kind of color on it. So I had a lot of that dark blue in there. It's actually, I think, a little bit too much. Well, but I mean, I have some of the nice contrast with the yellow and the plain colored soap that's in there. So it's not bad. And, you know, the the name of this is going to be Nightfall, so it was going for a very dark soap. Oh, that's pretty. Now, I do have some spots in here, which is kind of interesting. Some of that will clean up, I think, just with a little planing. This is a pretty nice piece, actually. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. Oh, let me see what the, uh... Oh, good. So, it still has a citrus forward to it, but it is much, like, just deeper and richer in those middle notes. Mmm, I'm actually really liking that. I am not a huge fan of, like, patchouli and... Um, clove I like a little bit more than patchouli, but that, um, that sort of earthy, I don't know, I associate it with, like, I don't know, the 60s or the 70s, I guess, but that kind of smell, that's pretty too. But this is smelling really nice. So some of these came out, like the swirls came out really that side is much better, I think, than the other one. I like that. Some of the swirls are better than others, I think. Like, this one is, seems very muddled to me. I didn't get very good swirls down here. It just looks sort of like a big blob. You can see a tiny little swirl in there. Now, this side looks better, though. But, you know what I'm seeing here is... This is definitely some of the indigo that did not get mixed in well. And that's because I had to mix it at the last minute. But you can see, I should be wearing gloves because this, this indigo is like handling a Bic pen that exploded. It gets kind of everywhere. Okay, so these probably are pretty similar. Not bad. Pretty nice. Right? Okay. All right, that's it. So, um, comments, questions, leave them below. If you like it, subscribe. Um, I love to hear from you guys. Um, if you have a question, let me know. Um, I will certainly try and answer it if I can. And uh, that's it. Check back for uh, some more soap-related videos. Um, I'm, I'm a little busy with work, like with my actual job. So um, I'm a little... I haven't been making soap, really. And also, I have some updates that I need to make on my website. So I'm kind of kicking myself to try and get those updates made before I actually get to make any more soap. And that's hopefully going to um, encourage me to get that administrative stuff done. So um, if you're interested in some of my soaps, you can find me on, uh, uh, you can find them on my website, which is www.divinelydesignedproducts, all one word, no spaces, no hyphens divinelydesignedproducts.com and I'll put the link in the comment below, okay? Or in the about below, so. Alright, thanks for watching.